Let's get it, Italians. Today we're playing Mr. Hobbs Playhouse, which I guess is in that mascot horror genre. It <laughs> it won't let me go into Windows mode, which is annoying. But um, let's see. I've heard okay things about it, just like from like the one second I <laughs> I took to Google this. I haven't heard that much about it. I just found out about like uh, the day before yesterday, and we'll see what Mr. Hops' Playhouse is all about. It's got those pixel graphics, so I wonder if it's supposed to be kind of like a retro style game, or what? You can see Mr. Hops, I presume, back there, whenever the screen, like, flashes. He is named Hops because he's a bunny. Just like Judy Hops, that thick bunny from, uh, Z Z Z Z Z Zootopia. Yeah. Rabbits have those thick hind legs, you know? Confirm. Okay. Jump, pick up, run, move, pause. Okay, I got it. Dad, can you take Mr. Hot tonight? He scares me. Don't be silly, Ruby. What would Nana think of you saying that? She made him just for you. I'll leave your nightlight on. Try and get some sleep. Well, maybe Nana sucks at making <laughs> stuffed animals that they turn out this scary. Mom! Dad! Task. Head to parents' room. Here I am. I'm jumping. I wonder if it's going to get any, any more platformery. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> Boys make noise. If only Ruby had listened to her parents and tidied her toys away. Be sure to jump over the toys, Got. Be sure to jump over the toy- okay, whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 I gotta- I gotta avoid these toys. Mom, Jenna. That, David, me, Ruby, and then there's like a little, little bunny there. Okay, so I can't like put it in my inventory or anything. I'm just, uh, kind of looking at it. Footsteps are loud. Make sure it's safe before coming out of hiding. How do I come out of hide? How do I hide? First place. Oh, okay, that's another screen. This house is huge! Are they rich? Look at these doorways. Gigantic, oh my god. I can't go... I can't go in there, can I? I did see some eyes in the background of the darkness up there. Okay. Stand still to regain your stamina. Go, go, go. Listen carefully to your surroundings. I'm just tripping on all these toys. Mom, Dad, where are you? Oh, uh, are we British? The way we're saying mum? I should do a macaroni art stream one day. <laughs> I usually don't carry macaroni in my house. I usually have like spaghetti noodles and stuff like that. Mom, Dad, where are you? Mommy? Yeah, I can jump a little bit farther, I think, if I hold down the run. 
There's our man, Mr. Hop. Mr. Hop. Ask. Leave the house. Uh oh. How do I leave the house? I can't leave through here, right? That's just like a closet. <laughs> Look at the claw marks at that win at that um you know wallpaper. You know they have some wild nights. Press down to crouch behind furniture. You're more of a penne or spaghetti guy yourself, but macaroni is a classic shape for pasta art. Yeah, I suppose so. What do we want to do with the phone? Gonna... I assume he's cut the lines or something. Okay, okay, okay. It shows us like what our visibility is. If it's green, he, we can't be seen. If it's yellow, I don't know. Maybe it's not so mellow. If it's red, we gonna be dead. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's yellow, look out for that fellow. Look for Ruby's mother. Alright. Yep, some doors need a key. That's true of life as well. Kitchen. Oh, because she's the mother, we're gonna look for the kitchen. Just like... Oh yeah, women are always in the kitchen. I get you, game. Anniversary, 18th April. That's probably like a code to somewhere. Oh. oh. I'm sorry, dude. Go about go about your business. What did what would the phone be for? It might be an objective later, like, oh, oh, Whatever British people use for 911. Let's see. So. And this girl does not have much stamina. She runs like a four <laughs> for like a foot and she's like winded. <laughs> oh yeah, not the kitchen. Is that a photo of the mother? It's like a real, like, glamour shot. My god. Why did that jump scare make me laugh? Because he's a silly little fellow. You know? That's the thing with animals. You, you observe them, they... And you just think about how different they are from yourself. You think about how different they are from humans and you're just like, 
<laughs> That's funny. Like, sometimes I just, like, I laugh when I'm looking at my cats grooming themselves. They're just licking. And I'm like, <laughs> you guys are silly little billies. His eyes are all wonky, too, you know? <laughs> I bet his death perception is terrible. He must have, like, terrible death perception. It, this is me not being patient. Boom, 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 boom. If you add like a like a drum beat to this, I bet it would slap. Come on now. You know, I was always a short kid. That would be like my big advantage here. Is that if this were me at this age, I don't know what age he is, but like I used to always be the shortest person in class. And so, I feel like I would be shorter than her at her age. And I wouldn't need to duck behind these couches and stuff. I would need, I would just be able to like stand perfectly tall. And my tall is minuscule. I get, like, why is she... I don't know. It's... At, this, at a certain point, right? Like, yeah, I get that they're her toys and her piggy bank and whatever. What?! I thought it was safe behind that little... That little chair. Little lazy boy. How tall am I? I'm um five foot three right now. In the future, who knows? I'm still a growing boy. <laughs> uh you know the thing with like the rabbits and Ruby? It makes me think of like that show Max and Ruby on Nick Jr. And boy, do I hate those rabbits. I like how he's waiting there. Like, he was like, mm, Did I see? Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see how I, what I thought I saw? And he's like, mm, Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be six feet and tower over you. Yeah. Possible. No, if I just drink my milk filled with all those hormones in them. Woo! <laughs> I bumped my mic. So. Oh. One thing I have to remember, not safe behind that chair. Stupid little girl. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. There is nothing doing with that room.
Oh, you said eight as a joke, but more realistically six, who knows? Yeah, um... <laughs> Because this game only runs in full screen... Because this game only runs in full screen, I have to put like, um, OBS and stuff on my TV, which is far away. And it's not, uh... Not the easiest to read. Like, I can read it. It's just not easy. Well, <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get me there. I can read, but like, sometimes, you know. It looks like a six. Hey, Shadowfleur, how are you? I'm, uh, I'm playing this game, and she's a little British girl. He says mum. So it's uh Oof. He's representing your country. Is this a horror game? Yes it is. Please don't get me good, dude. It's a game about like how you should pick up after yourself. Not just, like, leave your dial phone on the ground. This is partly why it's... It's so good that we have our own cell phones now. You step on a cell phone, it's not gonna make the same kind of noise as a dial phone. A rotary phone, as, as they call it. <laughs> Why? Hey, dude. I'm not doing so well with looking for this girl's mother. Come on now. Okay, I need to be patient. He's gonna walk by. Is he gonna get me this time? Even though I'm behind this little chair? He didn't get me. Hmm. But yes, this is a massive, massive house. This would probably set you back a, a couple quid. <laughs> get me there. Didn't get me there. You know, my cats are always leaving their toys on the ground. Mm. I go downstairs, I, I always see that... That little catnip toy on the ground. Hey! I'm at, ah. I wish this girl were more athletic. Wish she didn't run out of stamina so quickly. Does she have a skill tree? No. 
Oh. She's useless. She has no skills. She never will. She's letting her life be decided by some stuffed rabbit. You know Gordon Ramsay was on this like, I guess like financial success podcast or something. And, you know, I guess the point of that was like to interview like rich people and be like, oh, what are your rich people tips? And then Gordon Ramsay was like, come on now. <laughs> um, Gordon Ramsay was saying that he had like 20,000 uh, pounds. He had 20,000 uh, pounds to put in a down payment for an apartment. And he asked his father in law for the rest of the 20,000. And his father in law was like, Why don't you sell your Porsche? And then <laughs> Gordon Ramsay was like, He was so right. So he sold his Porsche, and then he bought the Porsche back 10 years later. And I was like, wow. All you have to do is just sell your Porsche, guys. I didn't know he... <laughs> he was rich for that long. And then, like, you know, some people were like, oh, yeah, but, like, you may not have a Porsche, but everyone has luxuries they could sell in a pinch. And it's like, well, yes, but, like, luxuries that I could sell in a pinch would, like, net me, like, what? A few hundred? And even then, it'd be more of a pain to sell those things than it would be worth, really. Does the music change based on, like, how close he is to you? What? Oh yeah, this is where the Christmas tree and stuff were. Oh, is it Christmas? Or do they just, like, have this Christmas tree hanging out? Ooh, God, girl. I'm gonna get this girl an inhaler. Why, why did the music stop? Does that signify something? Ugh. I'm all the way back at my room. Did not find my mom at all. Did not find my mum. Mum? Where are you? Where are you, dear heart? Tell all. I had the most terrible fright. Where's my mom? 
Was I supposed to run into her already? <laughs> yeah, I guess like if the music's not going, he's not there. Wink. Oh, the key. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know that the key was there. Do I like playing horror games? Uh, eh, I don't know. They're okay. Like, I like uh, watching horror movies, but horror games, like, a lot of times they can be kind of tedious sometimes. Oh, maybe this is for the... For the dang old uh, closet in their room. Like, a lot of them are based off of, like, hiding and waiting, and sometimes that's not very exciting for me. But, you know, it is October. Oh, wait, how do I use an item? Huh? Mum, where are you? Not even the bunnies here. Even the bunnies abandoned me. Um, I could use a brioche. Hey, I got an achievement. Noisemaker, step on 10 toys. Maybe I have to go into the kitchen. Um. Are you in that kitchen making me a brioche? <laughs> Wink. <laughs> it is so funny to me how like we're not running into Mr. Hop. Mr. Hop is is gone. Oh, here we are. Did I see the game World of Horror that recently came out? I thought that game was um pretty old. I feel like I've seen someone play it, like, a long time ago. What's this? Tape recorder. A sticky note attached reads under the mirror. Here, find the tapes. Okay. Mom? Are you playing a game with me right now, Mum? What's all this nonsense about tape recorder? I love your supermarkets over there. Your wife is always doing a British accent when, when she hears the announcement of the speaker say, We are now opening another checkout.
It was in early access, they just did the full release. Oh. I perceive that it's got like a retro vibe. It's like a... It's like black and white and pixel graphics and stuff. Under the mirror. Mum? September 8th, Jenna, Ruby, and I went to see Esther yesterday. Ruby was always loved seeing her grandmother, Nana Shikosa. She's, she's not doing so well in recent months. We went around the other weekend and she was just staring at the wall. We had to really shake her to snap her out of it. And, af and then she was just fine, like nothing had happened. God knows how long she'd been doing that for. We booked her for a doctor's appointment. I'm supposed to be recording ideas for a new novel. Oops. Okay. How do I get out of this? I'm, I'm done reading. Oh, okay. I, I hold the use item button. Find the tapes. Pixel art, yeah, but you choose the color scheme. Oh, I thought it was always just black and white. There's something weird with my controller. Like, it often, like, drifts. Come on now! Oh my god, that's a warning for flashing lights. Warning for flashing lights, dudes. I cannot believe that I'm being stopped by an Arsenal fan. Everyone around here in this household is a Liverpool fan. We don't accept gooners. September 14th. Jenna and I start to see Esther again today. The place was filthy. I'm not sure how it have gotten so bad so quickly. Esther doesn't seem to be keeping herself clean either. And it's like... And it's almost like she didn't recognize us. The appointment is tomorrow. Jenna is worried she might have to go into care. I'll keep this documented. I hope Ruby doesn't see... Doesn't have to see her like this. It's filthy. So if we're playing all these tapes, wouldn't they make noise and give away our location? I wonder if the tapes like appear after you get other tapes. That's really rude. You know how expensive it is? You know how expensive home repair is? Come on now! It is not... Not right, and it's not proper. I wonder if this is uh, how posh family feels when they've uh, encountered a northerner.
the tape over here. No, there isn't. Oh my god, I came up here for no reason. Might as well let that rabbit take me. Probably be quicker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now! I should be listening out for those footsteps and stuff. It's fine. Haha! <laughs> gotcha! In the bedroom. Is there anything? No tape? So I guess we don't have very many screens in this house. We just kind of go back and forth between... ...the same screens. Mummy, why are you recording these things about Nana? Isn't this tape recorder supposed to be about your book? Are you writing your book? Mum? Why did you record the tape about... The time I wet the bed. Is this going in your book? What is this note I found, Mum? Book idea. Story about an ungrateful daughter. What? You know what? I'm getting tired of this. <laughs> I'm getting tired of this god dang bunny. Yeah, yeah. Mum? Why is there a tape here that says novel idea? Story about a daughter that eats her own boogers. That was once, Mum. That was once, Mum. I didn't. I didn't know it was a booger. I thought it was a tiny meatball. It was round and all like bumpy and brown, just like a meatball. I was always to know. Um, what's this about a novel idea about a girl that has a stupid door to explore a haircut? You're the one who got me this haircut. I didn't choose it myself. You said it looked good. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> is this rabbit gonna pass? Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Hop. They should call me Mr. Hop, because I'm hopping. September 15th. As of recording this, Esther is in the hospital. Her neighbors called the police in the early hours of the morning because they could hear her screaming. She will be there for a few days. We told Ruby that she had a fall and that she's okay. We're waiting on a diagnosis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to find these tapes. My God. <laughs> okay, so I have to I have to wait a bit. Does he actually do anything to us, or does he just like go ha 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 ha? Come on now. Thought he was gonna get me. September 17th. We took Ruby to the hospital to see her nana. Esther made a soft toy for her named Mr. Hop, small rabbit. Esther always knitted her clothes and toys. Ruby was thankful, but I must admit this toy doesn't have a look to it. Uh, I must admit this toy ha does have a look to it. Something quite unsettling. You know something I didn't know before is that the... Is that the British definition of quiet and the American definition of quiet are different? Like... Americans use quiet to mean very. And then I think, um... British people use quiet to mean like somewhat, so not like extremely. Hello, Ruby. It's Mark from next door. It's Mark Is from it... next door. Is oh. everything okay there? I've been trying to call for hours. Hello? Ruby? I didn't expect uh, voice acting. I don't get why Ruby can't just tidy up as she goes along. Like some of these things, I don't suppose that they would make that much noise when they're just carried. You can use the opportunity to just, you know, clear some of these things away. Maybe now it's time to go upstairs. We haven't had a reason to go upstairs so far. That rabbit crying. It's the hop. Are you sad? September 19th. We just had a call. Esther passed away in her sleep. The doctors couldn't give us a diagnosis, and even said this sudden passing is bizarre. We will have to tell Ruby when she gets home from school. This isn't going to be easy on any of us. Writing is on the wall. Oh, find a secret. I got a secret. Haha. <laughs> Nana looked in the fires of hell, and she saw me. Is it good to look into a fire? I... <laughs> I mean like, you know, 
it doesn't have like the UV rays of the sun. But you would assume it's not good to just like stare into any bright light source, right? Maybe Nana shouldn't have been um, staring into the light, so staring into the fire so much. Although I know old people love that. They love to do that. Like, for a person of over a certain age, looking into a fireplace is just like TikTok. They're looking at those low flames dancing and they're like, ha ha ha, hit the wall! Okay. Come on. I wonder if we have to go to the front door again. That's where the next tape is. Ah. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Why is he a spider now? Excuse me? Did he get bit by... Did he get bit by like a, a glowy radiated spider? Is he like Spider-Man now? By the rabbit? If I go back in, will he be there again? No. September 22nd. Ruby hasn't been on her best behavior since the news. We had to keep- we had to take her slingshot away, and she wouldn't stop firing pellets at the toy rabbit. She says it protects her from it. It's just a toy! We had to lock the slingshot away since Ruby kept finding it. Jenny keeps the key under a houseplant in the hallway, I think. In the hallway. Under a houseplant. Have we seen that houseplant? Probably have. We've been everywhere. But I just didn't notice it, I guess. Oh. Here? There are, there are a bunch of houseplants. In the hallway under a houseplant. Let's go this way. I wonder if these are all real plants or not. Ah. So the thing shot was locked away. It locked in the parents' bedroom? Yeah, that's like the one toy they locked away. All these others, they're like, that's fine. She can just leave all her million Hot Wheels on the ground. Uh, their anniversary was something like four... Eight? Wait. It was April... April something, right? Oh, 
Oh wait, if they're British, then maybe uh, they do it the other way around, where the month is last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. British people. Okay. Ask. Find Mr. Holt. Oh, I have infinite ammo? Okay. Let's find this dude. Ooh. Find this dude. We're ready for ya. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha now. I can make all the noise I want. Ruby, come and give your nana a big kiss. I'll give I'll give you something in your kisser. Nana, but I thought you were Ruby. Play with me, Ruby. Oh, I should run. Okay. That's not right. Run, Ruby, run. Get the escape artist and thing. Please, stay where you are. Are there multiple endings? Ruby escaped. Ending, escape artist. But, uh, what? I thought I got grabbed. Maybe I didn't. Continue. Is that a different ending? If I get grabbed? Police! Stay where you are! That's also the escape artist ending. So I guess that's what happens when you get grabbed. Okay, 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 okay. Why is that called the escape artist ending if you get grabbed? It seems like you're not actually getting- You're not actually an escape artist. You're an escape novice. Really? You're just an escape novice. Hardly an artist at all. There we go. Please stay where you are. What? This is the same ending. What? What's going on now? What's going on now? Let's look at the achievement. See what we got. Um. Wow, there are other endings. There seems to be like two different endings and then other secrets. But I don't know about getting those other secrets. I might as well try to get the other ending. Can I skip past this? Can I skip past this? Ruby! Ruby! 
one is like setting the house on fire, apparently. But how, how would I even do that? Maybe if I keep running, I'll eventually find a way to set the house on fire. He does have like infinite uh, stamina at this point. Where's that other hallway, I guess? Maybe we can go into that other hallway? Like, I think, like, the big open space, like, the first one, when he's, like, chasing you, is a hallway into, like, the living room that had, like, the couch and everything. My- But that's been our time with Mr. Hawk's Playhouse. It's... <laughs> it's an alright game. Like, I mean, like... It's about British people, it's about British culture, it's about... Um... Life after Brexit. Um... Yeah. <laughs> so? It wasn't that much, but like you can see this with like indie games and stuff where like their first game is just gonna be like a really small thing and typically free and it's kind of like a thing where they kind of like test the waters and then if there's popularity, usually like the subsequent games are much longer, much more detailed. Anyway. 